God has indeed blessed us in so many ways, countless ways. We praise him in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. May our Lord be with you. Let each of us call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you came to gather all the nations into the peace of your Father's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. You come now in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. You'll come again in glory with salvation for your people at the end of time. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sin and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest and on earth. Peace to people of goodwill. We praise you. We bless you. We adore you. We glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, amen. And we pray. O God, who show the light of your truth to those who go astray, that they may return to the right path. Give all who for the faith they profess are called Christians the grace to reject whatever is contrary to the name of Christ and to strive after all that does it honor. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Amos. Amaziah, priest of Bethel, said to Amos, Off with you, visionary. Flee to the land of Judah. There, earn your bread by prophesying, but never again prophesy in Bethel, for it is the king's sanctuary and a royal temple. Amos said, Amos answered, Amaziah, I was no prophet, nor have I belonged to a company of prophets. I was a shepherd and a dresser of sycamores. The Lord took me from following the flock and said to me, Go, prophesy to my people Israel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. I will hear what God proclaims, the Lord, for he proclaims peace. Near indeed is his salvation to those who fear him, glory dwelling in our land. Lord, let us see your kindness, grant us your salvation. Kindness and truth shall meet, justice and peace shall kiss. Truth shall spring out of the earth, and justice shall look down from heaven. Lord, let us see your kindness, grant us your salvation. The Lord himself will give his benefits, our land shall yield its increase. Justice shall walk before him and prepare the way of his steps. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Blessed be God, the fa- God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavens, as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world to be holy and without blemish before him. In love, he destined us for adoption to himself through Jesus Christ, in accord with the favor of his will, for the praise of the glory of God's grace that he granted us in the beloved. In him, we have redemption by his blood, the forgiveness of transgressions, in accord with the riches of his grace that he lavished upon us. In all wisdom and insight, He has made known to us the mystery of his will in accord with his favor that he set forth in him as a plan for the fullness of times to sum up all things in Christ, in heaven, 
and on earth. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. May our Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus summoned the twelve and began to send them out, two by two. He gave them authority over unclean spirits. He instructed them to take nothing for the journey, just the walking stick. No food, no sack, no money in their belts. They were, however, to wear sandals, but not a second tunic. He said, whatever house you enter, stay there until you leave. Whatever place does not welcome you or listen to you, leave there. Shake the dust off your feet in testimony against them. So they went off and preached repentance. The twelve drove out many demons. They anointed with oil many who were sick and cured them. The gospel of the Lord. For 2,000 years, scholars have asked, why did Jesus send them out two by two? Can a man or woman do something by themselves? I don't know. And why did he say, take nothing with you? Not even a change of clothes. It's good to have a change of clothes. He says, no, you don't need... Scholars have scratched their head. Might be clean, right? It's an interesting gospel. So it was Monday morning, about 10.30, we're pulling into the soup kitchen in Philadelphia where the poverty, if you want to come in after mass, I have my computer set up with some pictures taken by the kids and some of the chaperones. But we're pulling in and so we have to get our stuff, our, our food and your own personal suitcases, clothes, etc. And you go up one flight of steps to the dining room area and that's maybe I don't know, 20 or so steps. And then up to the living quarters where the bedrooms are, it's a pretty steep staircase. Maybe 15 steps. Now I'm 67 years old. Okay, I'm not as young as I used to be. We gotta lug our own stuff and then the food. The food only goes up to the first level. We buy a lot of food. These kids, they eat like vultures. How do you raise kids? They don't stop eating. Whatever. It got to the point I couldn't carry my suitcase any further. And the one kid said, Father, let me help you out with this suitcase. Because nar- it's a narrow, steep staircase. And he said, what do you have in here? Now, I, t- I do tend to travel very heavy. I do, because I want to be prepared for anything. Bring a lot of T-shirts, because there's no air conditioning. You just go through T-shirt after T-shirt. And I, he said, you must have a dead person in here or something. Like Edward, it's like, hey, they were having trouble carrying it. You know, whatever. So a little while later, we had a little free time, we get a little downtime. I'm looking at the readings for this Sunday to begin my thoughts for this homily right now. And Jesus says, don't take anything for the trip. Just, just one shirt. I had like 20. And you just sit there and you scratch your head. Everything he said to do, I was doing the exact opposite. Because I don't like to be safe. Okay, I'm covered. I like to have plenty. And maybe you do too. It's okay to be safe. Nobody should be out there naked. But do you have to have every convenience covered? And I realized the reading was about me. And and it was about the kids too. They all pack heavy. Maybe we don't trust that God will give us what we need. 
No. But I need it. See, I don't have a wife to say, boy, you pack heavy. That's why he sent them out two by two. Because you need somebody to keep you in line. I don't have that. I need that kid to say, Edwards, what do you got all this stuff? And there's other reasons that he sent them out two by two. And this involves you more than me. You know, it, it, there's a couple things you hear in confession a lot. Some themes that come up regularly. One of them is not a sin. It, it, it's just a complaint people have. You know, my, 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 my kids don't follow our, our customs, our traditions, our religion. You know, the... They don't go to church. My grandchildren don't go to church. It's not a sin. They're just angry, disappointed, ashamed. And what that person needs is another person. Because instead of saying, I failed, I'm a bad parent. No. The world out there changed. Call it the cultural revolution of the 60s, which I remember, I was a kid. I, did, I didn't know a single parent growing up. There weren't any. Today, we rarely do a baptism where the parents are married. That world is gone. It's not your fault. You are a bad Catholic parent. Your kid doesn't go to church. Religion just doesn't matter. To, it's nothing you did or didn't do. That world is just different. We may have a program on this in the fall. I'm, I'm not sure yet, but how do we address that? I don't know. But it's not your fault. And you need somebody to say, you know, relax. Let's see what we can do. What can we do in this house? What can we do? And you need that person. Instead of thinking, oh my God, it's all me. Another person keeps it balanced. That's why he sent them out two by two. And I don't have that. I don't have a spouse. Most of you do. Somebody to help your kid to help them. I don't have that. But most of you do. You know, what's funny is on Wednesday, I leave. And I'm replaced by other chaperones. I went to the shore for a day. And I stayed overnight at a hotel. And if you've ever been to the shore, you know, it got very windy. Very windy. And it was in the 60s. And I did not bring any long sleeve shirt for cold weather. I had to go back to the hotel. This was not comfortable. It was freezing. So I brought everything I thought I needed. But I forgot to bring a long sleeve hoodie or something for the cold that the shore would bring. I didn't think about that. I thought I had everything I needed. And I had a lot of stuff with me. Maybe I had forgotten to bring the one most important thing. Trust in God. That he would make sure I have what I need. I want plenty. God wants enough. Let us stand, my friends, and we'll profess our faith in Almighty God. I believe in one God, Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages. God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things are made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He'll come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, the life of the world to come. Amen. We put our prayers before Almighty God. The response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, 
that we may find our identity and our relationship with God instead of in the allurements of possessions, accomplishments, or power. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all political leaders, that God will help them to understand the greatest needs of those whom they serve and work to promote the common good. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For a strengthening of our discipleship, that we may hear God's invitation to bring forth the reign of God in our lives, our work, and our relationships, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all first responders, our military, and those tasked with perilous work, that the Holy Spirit may guide them and protect them daily, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and their caregivers, that they may gather strength by seeing the face of God in one another, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially for Kevin Crock, for whom this Mass is being offered, that they may be with Jesus in heaven forever, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us end the petitions by praying the vision prayer. Jesus, we are your people. We praise you as Savior and Lord. Deepen our commitment to you, your church, and each other. Let us all share more actively in spreading the good news of God present among us. Help us reach out to those who have not yet experienced the joy of participating in parish life. Inspire us to seek justice and peace for all members of our parish family and beyond. Assist us in living your gospel of compassion and love in service to those in need. Mindful of our many blessings, we are especially grateful for your gift of our parish family family dedicated to Mary, Mother of God, spouse, Joseph, and our beloved saints, Anthony, Vincent, Stanislaus, and Stephen. Lord, send us your spirit. Make us alive as we have never been. Let us celebrate together and place our hope in you. Amen. Pray, friends, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. Look upon our offerings, Lord, as she makes her prayer to you. Grant that when consumed by those who believe, the Eucharist may bring us ever greater holiness. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just for our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. Out of compassion for our waywardness, Jesus humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death. By rising from the dead, he gave his life eternal. And so with angels, archangels, thrones, dominions, and all the powers of heaven, we praise you as we say, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body, the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, 
which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper ended, he took a chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you, for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity with Francis, our Pope, Joseph, our Bishop, all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection, all who died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and praise you and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Together we pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from ever evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, power, and glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. We share a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
So tomorrow begins Bible school. And Bible school represents an opportunity to continue reaching out to young, younger families. You know, there was a time when Bible school brought 60 or 70 kids. We, we won't have 60 or 70, we'll probably have 30. But those 30 are important. The theme is Noah's Ark, and I am serious. Legacy Creek is very low right now, but there's a spot where we can send the ark down the creek, and Gerard's going to be acting as Noah sitting in the ark. He just doesn't know that yet. But we're going to do it down in the river and get the kids to understand what Noah's ark was about. So it's going to be a big week for the kids. I think it's $10 or free if you don't have it. Get, get the kids here, so whatever. Also, it's funny, yesterday we had our towel giveaway and bathing suit giveaway over at the Splash Pad. It's not a pool over at Nova Brino behind St. Lucie's. And we actually ran out of towels. That's how many kids were there just needing a towel. You know, that's your gender. It has nothing to do with me. That's the word or the service and community people doing that. And, but it's your generosity that gave us those towels and suits to give to the kids. And you see a kid smile because he, she has a, a swimsuit. You know, one, one swimsuit. But that's because of you giving it. And you don't think... Sometimes I don't even know all the stuff that happens around here. It just kind of goes on and I just show up from ass. But your charity is just amazing. And it does make a difference out there. To people you will never meet. And maybe that's the way it should be. Let us stand to pray. Having consumed your gifts, Lord, we pray that by our participation in the Eucharist, its saving effects on us may grow. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be with you. Mighty God bless us, our families, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Our liturgy ends, we go in peace, glorifying God with our lives. Thanks be to God. And we'll do